What's up, YouTube? It's Crazy316. You know what the funniest thing I think about these liberals and these atheists and these homosexuals is that they are so bent up on trying to copy us and mock us and get their little one-star rating in that they go so far as to make uh, a copycat account of your account uh, will change one letter or remove a letter or something like that and will upload it so that everybody can one-star it. That is freaking pathetic. You have so much time on your hands than to go and say shock of shite and upload his videos so that all the atheists can put their own annotations on the video. You have nothing better to do than to make a video like that so that they can one star it even though it's not on their account. You have nothing better to do than to make an account called The Wood of Jordan instead of The Woods of Jordan so that you can be a copycat wannabe Christian homosexual that's going around spreading all kinds of stupidity and filth and lies about the Bible and how it's unjust to that homosexuality is wrong and and all that bull crap. Give me a freaking break! Now when I say liberal atheist or homosexual, I mean the ones that actually do this kind of stupidity. Um, but what I do notice about between the two groups, or these group versus the Christians, is that when it comes to a video when you only have Christians on, it'll be like 100 views and 10 ratings because Christians don't care about ratings and all that stuff. But when the atheists come around, every single one of them have to rate. When it comes to atheist videos, it's a five star, of course. When it comes to all Christian videos, no matter what stance you take, it's a one star. It means that much to them and they have that much time on their hands. We have families and responsibilities. A lot of them do not. You can tell by the activities that they do on YouTube. Look at how much crap that they do. Look at Born Again, which is another fake, phony Christian account who goes around trolling all Christian videos that go against homosexuality. It's just plain ridiculous. Same with Fundy's Gone Wild. You have nothing better to do than to make a, a raggedy video spreading lies and calling people closet homo. Oh, that must be the most original response that I've ever seen. You must be a closet homo. You talk about homosexuality a lot. Good one, buddy. Would you like a cookie? Another classic one is Crazy316, the name suits you. Would you like a cookie from that so original? Fool for a lifetime. Oh, you really are a fool. Oh, that's just so original. That's a good one. Would you like a cookie for that? I also think it's hilarious that these foolish morons cannot stay on topic. Every time you try to make an argument, these morons automatically jump to, Oh, you're trying to justify the banning of same-sex marriage based on your Bible and your sky daddy and your invisible friend. Where? Where in my videos? Where? 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 In my videos on the secular argument, do I show, do I make an argument with the Bible whatsoever? Where? Please show me where. The only time I ever use the Bible in my arguments is when I'm challenged biblically. And when that goes down, the morons always get dusted. Your religion is this and your religion is that. Your religion says that something came from nothing. Your book of fairy tales justifies slavery. If I hear that argument one more time, I'm going to throw up. Versatile Mind for Christ has a three-part video series that has completely debunked that argument. When it, when it comes to the slavery argument, people misread and abuse the scriptures to twist it into something they want it to see. But the Bible strictly says that capturing and selling of slaves is prohibited and is punishable. And there's much, much more. Why don't you go check it out? I'll post the links on the side. Your book of fairy tales justifies rape. No, it doesn't. Read the scriptures. When it comes to someone who is engaged, if she screams loud enough, the, the rapist will be stoned to death. If she doesn't, they will both be stoned. Now, when it comes to someone who is not engaged, it is punishable by death or payment in silver and, and shekels. You may not agree with that, but that's the way they did it back then. On top of the fact that that was Mosaic law that we don't even have to follow anymore. Now that we're done discussing the scripture, which I didn't even bring up, but you did, can we please get back to the argument? Ah, oh, you're just a homophobe. You're just a bigot. The two definitions don't apply. Stop using them. Bigot involves intolerance. We do not have intolerance. We have disagreement. Learn the difference between the two. Get a dictionary. Go to dictionary.com. Hell, go to the library. Do I for one second look like I'm afraid of any homosexual or the lifestyle thereof? Absolutely not. 
Because, baby, I can hold my own down. Remember when blacks couldn't marry whites? You are that dumb that you would compare someone who is genetically predetermined to be black versus someone whose lifestyle is dependent on their actions and not genetics. To this day, no genetic uh, link has been found. You're that dumb. Not only that, but homosexuals have enjoyed the rights to vote, to hold managerial positions, to sit anywhere on the bus they wanted to, so on and so forth. When it comes to that time, when it came to blacks, they did not have those rights. Homosexuals have the same rights. They do not like their options. Deal with it. Get over it. Have a civil union because your marriage is counterfeit. It's not a real marriage. You don't deserve that title. You deserve civil union. That's the bottom line. I must have thrown YouTube into maintenance mode so many times from killing that block button for making that stupid comparison. That is both the dumbest thing I've ever heard and super offensive. And it is part of the reason why you lost Prop 8 in California. If we ban same-sex marriage based off the fact that homosexuals can't reproduce, then what about infertile couples? Or are they elderly? This is the dumbest thing. A big cop-out. First of all, how many people do we know have babies before they get married? Number two, if we do things right, we're not supposed to be having kids before we get married. Those are two big things right there. And number three, even when it comes to the male and when it comes to infertility, there's still a male and female thing here. So even if they adopt, they can adopt the child and raise him up correctly. Not only that, how many times do you have to try to get pregnant before you know that you're infertile? How about those sneaky, snakish homosexuals trying to slip their way into our schools and indoctrinate and brainwash our children with all kinds of bull crap? You think you've seen some angry parents? Wait until you try to come around my neighborhood, because I know I'm going to raise some problems concerning this kind of nonsense coming in my schools. God, guns, guts, and glory. He can vouch for me on this one. We in the same boat right here. This is not going to happen to our children. I guarantee you it. There's going to be some problems whether... I don't know. I'm not even going to list. I'm not going to list what's going to go down. We'll just see what happens. Why are you trying to adopt kids? Don't give me no bull crap like they need to be adopted. There is a waiting list of people that are trying to get kids adopted. That is a hot commodity. What are you going to explain to those children on where babies come from? You either going to lie or you're going to have to tell them the truth. And when you tell them the truth, how are they going to look at you? What the heck is wrong with you, daddies? What the heck is wrong with you, mommies? Because I know I would. In conclusion, no matter how many futile lies you try to throw on the table, we are always going to be there to tax that behind. Your lifestyle does not fit your anatomical design in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Ain't that right, God, guns, guts, and glory? You never find nobody like my kind.